What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and as you know on the channel, we go over a lot of keyboards, but this one's pretty different. This is a keyboard with a built-in PC. Yeah, as bizarre as that sounds, this is the OneBoard Pro Plus. I found it over on Banggood, and once I saw what this was all about, I knew I had to check it out for you guys today. I honestly couldn't find any videos or information on this thing anywhere else. So that kind of gave me a good idea that this video is going to be pretty unique. It was definitely a little bit thicker than I expected, but then I remembered, oh yeah, there's some components inside. Then taking a look on the back side is where most of your connections are going to be, like your USB, Ethernet, your HDMI, power, your basic connections. Also inside the box for you, they include some cables. So pretty much all the cables you're going to need to get this thing up and running, and that's always nice. Now when I first tested this out, it didn't take me too long to realize that there was something going on here, and it wasn't entirely living up to what I expected. Let's just head over to the PC and check it out. All right, so I'm plugging in my mouse from my PC over here to now this OneBoard Plus, and looks like we're in. Uh, one thing that's cool is it does have built-in Wi-Fi, and this is the interface. I did set everything to um english but i'm still seeing a lot of chinese what is this like a, a chinese youtube uh sohu tv hd this might be like the browser no idea what that is it's just it's very very foreign um let's see can i write yeah okay widgets this is kind of like a large tablet interface you know like you can add widgets and mess around with stuff um, I still don't know what anything is. Bookmarks, let's do that. I just drag it somewhere. Okay, so what else is there? Because this is, this is bizarre. All right, so you right click on the little home button down there. Like I said, there's the apps and there's the widgets. Uh, music, movie studio, gallery, downloads, email, the settings and stuff. This is just like pretty much a tablet interface. Uh, let's go to browser. Can we even hop on the internet here? Aku CN. Let's see if we can pull up YouTube real quick. And there are problems with the security certificate for this site. Let's just continue. And for some reason, it doesn't trust YouTube. It doesn't trust YouTube. Can I go back? Oh man. Okay. So, no to YouTube. I don't know. What about Amazon? Uh, no. All right, so I wouldn't trust this thing with like, you know, putting in your passwords or anything like that. I definitely wouldn't be checking my bank account statement anytime soon on this thing. Uh, but it's just bizarre that the whole keyboard as a whole is like, like a little PC kind of. It's just unfortunate that it's very weird and still primarily Chinese. It's just a giant tablet pretty much built into a keyboard, which could be cool but not in the United States. So as you saw, yes, there is technically a PC built inside here. You power it up, you connect it to a monitor or display, and you can get it going. But it's not really a PC, it's kind of more like a glorified tablet experience in a way that just was not optimized for the United States or really any English language outside of China. So that kind of got me thinking, what's actually inside this keyboard as of hardware wise? So I busted out my trusty iFixit toolkit and started to take it apart. They say inside it's a four core processor with two gigs of RAM. It's also running Android 4.4. And they also note that it is completely DIY and customizable or upgradable. But I mean, there's no real purpose to that if I can't throw in something crazy stupid like a 1060 or something. But I just wanted to give you a look at that real quick. One thing I actually really liked about this was the switches they used inside this keyboard. When you take off a keycap, you'll find they actually use genuine cherry switches. These are the MX Cherry Black switches inside. And for something like this, I figured there would definitely be some sort of like, you know, green tech or kale switches inside here, just because it's from China. But no, they actually use genuine cherry switches. With these cherry blacks, they're definitely kind of heavier. I wasn't really used to them. Um, they, I believe they require 60 grams of force to actuate. If you guys want to do a little sound test, I'll do one for you now so you can hear how they sound. So 
So those are the Cherry Blacks. And like I said, just as a keyboard as a whole, it is impressive and I really like it because it's made very solid. It looks nice. It has those LED backlighting going on there. However, from my testing and I tried messing around with it, I can't just plug this into my current PC and use it just as a keyboard. I do believe you have to use this as the entire unit as a keyboard and a PC as one, which is really a bummer because if I could use this as a dedicated keyboard, I probably would because it's very nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little fun video of checking out a keyboard with a built-in PC, the OneBoard Plus Pro. If you guys want to check it out for yourself or maybe you live in China and you're digging this right here, I will put it for you in the description down below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.